Hello, welcome back to my channel, Nepal Tech Hub. And today on this video, I'm gonna show you how to install uh, Java JDK in order to run the Java programming on your machine. First thing you need to have is JDK, and then you need to have to have the uh, IDE to edit your code. So we are doing on the Mac today. So I'll show you how to install JDK for Mac. The first thing you have to go is uh, go in this uh, link. I'll don't worry about this. I'm gonna paste the link in the description below. So uh, you have to select the appropriate version for your machine. I'm selecting a DMG installer 64-bit. Mac is really easy. It's not like it's not like a, in the Windows machine that you have to uh, give the path variable or anything else. You just have to download. So in order to download, you might need to have to have a Oracle login. So in, you might need to create an account on that. So once you get downloaded, then don't worry about it. You just have to follow a couple of steps then you'll be good to go. You don't have to uh, worry about the library file or the bean folder. So, and then once you have JDK, so you need to figure out either you have JDK installed or not. So for that, you can uh, open your terminal and there you can just write Java hyphen hyphen version and this just Java 11 that I've just in installed it. So I have a Java 11. And if you wanna know uh, which Java version you are running in it, so it's really easy jvac version and you'll show you which version you're running so if you get this reply back once you get java hyphen hyphen version version on your mm, terminal then if you get this reply back then you are good to go you, you already have java jdk installed in your machine and you don't have to worry about the path variable on a mac so for windows i'm going to create the separate videos and we'll show you um, i'll walk you through the steps then once you have a jdk installed in your machine uh, the second thing you need is your uh, IDE. So you need to edit the code. So we're going to install the uh, IDE say, uh, Intel Z, uh, J from the JetBrain. So for that, um, we have to uh, we have to go to this link. And again, don't worry about this. I'm going to post paste the link in the description below. So here you have to go to the community version. Uh, so for the only, uh, ultimate version, after 30 days, you have to pay. You have to pay and get the subscription. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and download the community version. So you have to hit the download button and then that's all you're, you're good you'll see it's gonna download on the bottom here yeah it's gonna take a while so i'm gonna pause the video for that and we'll we'll come back so once you have downloaded ide then it's gonna show up here on the download folder so you can see here on the download folder so i have already downloaded it so here you can just uh, drag and drop to the application folder and this to drag and drop to the application folder so it looks like i already have one so let's just do replace and once you replace the id uh, id then you'll be able to see here you can see up here and then so once you open the id that is installed well, after you drag and drop to the application folder then you can you will get the IntelliJ shortcut with the icon and you can just open it and then once you double click and open the IntelliJ ID you will see this uh, page where it will say you open a new project and so if you have existing project you can, you can still open it or you can create the new project from here so I'm going to go ahead and just do the new project and here it's going to say if you have a if you already have JDK installed, then it's going to automatically find it. So I have 11 JDK 11 installed in my machine that I have shown earlier. And there you can see, you can see here, I had 11 J, JDK 11 installed in my machine. So here you don't have to give any path variable or nothing like that we have to do in the Windows machine. So that's a kind of easier for the Mac. So it's going to find automatically the project SDK will be the 11 Oracle, the version 11.03 for the JDK. And we, we're going to do the Java, so we're not going to select anything else from here. So we'll just do next. And again, we'll do next here. So uh, we're going to give the project name. So for our video, uh, I'll do the first project as the name of our project. Uh, first uh, project. And hit enter. Then just give a couple seconds. It's going to create your package project folder with all packages in there. So inside the source, just let's just give a second to let it finish. So 
So inside the source here on the left hand side, we can see the pro our project structure. Uh, we can see our project structure and you can see the package uh, package structure from here but it's better to see from the project structure so that we can see the source file source folder and then everything else on the on the bottom so we're gonna do inside the source folder we're gonna create the java class and we're gonna give the name of our class as lesson one as this is our first video on the java we're going to do the lesson one and here well, so this is our this is our class lesson one is our class inside the class we do need the main main method so we just it's a shortcut you just you type main and hit tab so it will create the public static void main method then inside that we can just do this is the shortcut the sort and you have you enter tab then you will see the system dot print ln. So here inside this, we're gonna give the print command. This is first Java project, and this is my first Java project. So to run this program, we we have two options. Either we're gonna run the whole Oh. Either way, we can just do the run here. Let's just do run and wait. It is get compiled and gives us the result. So here you can see on the bottom, this is my first project. We have successfully installed the JDK and installed IDE and also created our first project. I'm gonna show you how to do on the VS Code as well on the Mac. If you haven't installed VS Code in your um, Mac then you can go to this uh, url and i'm going to post this uh, link in the description below so you can just go to the uh, this uh, page and just download them for the mac that's all you have to do i have already installed on my machine so i'm not going to uh, download right now so once you download it it's the same process you just have to drag and drop into the application folder then you are good to go you don't have to set up any uh, uh, path or any variables so you just have to drag and drop into the application folder for the mac it's really easy to install install any application while you are opening the vs code for the first time first time any other application too is the same thing you might have to configure that's the second part but just for the installation you just have to drag and drop so configuration part will come when you first open them open the application then you can you just have to follow these steps that's all for this video my main focus was to create the first project from the step by step so we install the ide install the jdk and then create our first java program so on my next video i'm going to keep continue getting into the java programming so please stay tuned thank you